Hey everybody, Scott here with another Microsoft Excel tutorial for you. Today we're going to be learning about the standard deviation function in Excel and what it does and how to implement it. So the standard deviation function in Excel allows you to estimate the variations or the difference between numbers in a certain sample. So here we have our sample numbers and basically this is a list of names and test scores that we have. Alright, so we're going to figure out the standard deviation in those numbers. So we've calculated the average here just to show you how um, what the average is and, and how it relates to the standard deviation. And we're going to type our formula in here. It's a very simple formula. It's the stdev function. Okay, so it's equals stdev. And you will see that when you type that in, you will see a whole bunch of lists of functions. We have stdev, stdev.p, and stdev.s. I'll be covering those in future lessons, but we're going to stick with stdev right now. These can also be found in the insert function um, by going up to uh, the formula bar and clicking on the little FX here and basically then you just have to put in the range of cells that you are testing. In this case we are testing from B2 to B9 and when we hit enter we can see that the standard deviation is 7.2. What that means is that when we calculate the average of 82.9 Anything within 7.2 of 82.9 falls within one standard deviation of the average or the mean. So 90.1 would fall within the standard deviation. Uh, above would be one standard deviation above. And then we can calculate that below as well to 75.7 uh, to figure out where one standard deviation lies. So if we look at Bill, he's at 73, so he is more than one standard deviation uh, away from the mean. Okay, whereas Joel falls within one standard deviation of the mean. So again, our formula to calculate the standard deviation was equals stdev. Okay, I'll calculate it again equals stdev and if we click on stdev on our functions list here it puts the brackets in and then we just have to type in our arguments which are our cells that we are testing so b2 to b9 and then that gives us the standard deviation alright so that's how we calculate standard deviation in Excel and there are a lot of great tutorials on standard deviation uh, on the internet not only about how to make it work in Excel but also just how standard deviation is calculated uh, in mathematics in general so I encourage you to go have a look at those uh, tutorials as well if you have any questions on standard deviations feel free to hit me up in the comments and ask me uh, any questions that you like or you can visit my website at www.free-learn-excel Dot com where I have other free Excel tutorials and I would be happy to answer any comments that you leave for me there. Thanks a lot everybody and uh, have a great day.